Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 18.2. So Apple has finally released the RC version of iOS 18.2, which means that we're getting this device released any day now, most likely it will happen on Monday, December the 9th, or maybe even on the Tuesday. And you can see right here, this is the new build number for iOS 18.2 is 22C150. So in today's video, we're taking a look at this update and I will show you guys 10 awesome new things that your device will be able to do once you get the new iOS 18.2 update on your iPhone. Now, first of all, we're talking about Find My. Now, the Find My app has an awesome new feature. You will be able to share the item's location. So let's say you have an air tag on maybe like a bag of yours or something like that. You will be able to get help to find your lost air tag by sharing its location, maybe with an airline or a trusted person. So right here you can see this is the new splash screen that you will get once you install iOS 18.2 and you open the Find My app, letting you know about this new feature that allows you to actually share the item location for a limited time. Now here's another awesome new feature on iOS 18.2 on the Photos app when taking a look at videos. Now you will see videos on full screen. Now previously, if you just tap right there, it would zoom out actually, it will show this black part right here where it will show also the other pictures and videos that you have. Now with iOS 18, it's all the time, with iOS 18.2 actually, it's all the time on the full screen mode and the same goes for photos as well. With iOS 18.2, now you will be able to limit the amount of volume that comes out of the speakers of your iPhone. And that will be actually very easy to do if you want to limit the volume of your device. All you have to do with iOS 18.2 is head on to your settings, go under sounds and haptics, and right here you will be able to limit the sound of your iPhone. So you will have this section right here that says built-in speaker, volume limit, you go here, and of course with this disabled your volume will be at 100%. Once you enable this automatically it will be cut down to 90% and then you will have this volume slider right here that allows you to adjust the volume limit for your speakers. And as you can see right here you can go with the minimum which is 20% and then of course you will have all the other like 10% increments right here up to 90%. So anytime you want to limit the amount of volume of your speakers, you can do that from here. Now here's another great feature that Apple has added to iOS 18.2 when it comes to volume. You can now finally adjust the volume of your media from the lock screen using a slider. Well, to do that, you will have to first enable that slider and you can do that by going under the accessibility settings. You go right here and then you go to audio and visuals. Let's just find that right here. So that we have audio and visuals and then you will have here the ability to actually enable this feature. You will have here something called always show volume control. You enable this right here and once you go to your lock screen with any media playing on your device, you will now see this slider right here. We can now simply go and adjust the volume of your speakers as easy as that. So just like that, you can go ahead and adjust very easily and much, much faster the volume of your media. Now, one thing that will actually make your life way easier with iOS 18.2 is the way Apple has changed the way you manage your default apps. Now, everything will be in one place. All you have to do is under settings, just head on to the apps section and there you will have default apps. You go right there and you have all the default apps you can manage right here. Your mail apps, messaging, calling, call filtering, browsers, passwords, contactless apps and also keyboards. So if I just want to change, let's say my messaging apps, I can go here and pick from the list of the messaging apps that I have on my device. Now currently, as you can see right here, even though I have WhatsApp and some other messaging apps like Telegram, it doesn't show them right here, but of course they will show on other things like mail here. We'll have to wait and see if those lists will change, but again, you will have here a few like different options to choose from the apps that you have currently installed and switch to those apps as your default apps. 
And with iOS 18.2, you probably know that we have the new Mail app. Now the Mail app will be available to all devices, not just the Apple intelligence devices. All the devices will get this new feature basically allowing you to categorize your emails. Now what's really cool is that if you don't like the way Apple has recreated this app, you can switch to the old style simply by tapping the three dots right there. You tap there and then you go to list view and just like that you go back to the old mail app. I would really like if Apple would have done the same thing with the Photos app. I know a lot of users are not satisfied with the new design of the Photos app and having the ability to go back to the old design would be a great option. And if you're mirroring your iPhone to your MacBook with the new feature that Apple has added on iOS 18, now with 18.2, you will be able to do that if you have your Mac connected to your hotspot. That's a great, great feature. If you're out somewhere, don't have Wi-Fi connection, you have your iPhone, con you're actually your Mac connected to the hotspot via your iPhone, now iOS 18.2 will allow you to actually go ahead and mirror the screen of your iPhone your Mac. And one of the coolest new features is the ability to create your own emoji. Anytime you wanted to send an emoji but you could, couldn't find it on the keyboard of your iPhone, now you can just create it. Even though this again is a feature only available to the iPhone with AI features. So this is an AI feature, you can just go ahead and describe here any emoji you want. And just like that, as you can see, iOS 18.2 has generated the emoji I asked for and it will also give you a few different options. So just like that, I can go ahead and use that emoji and actually send it here on a conversation on iMessage. Now you will have to keep in mind that all the features that you see, all the new Apple intelligence features, they are still all on beta, so they won't work perfectly, but they are actually quite good. And last but not least, with iOS 18.2, you will have now a new button to type to Siri. You can actually add that toggle to your control center. You can go here to add a control and then so just search for Siri right here and you will be able to add the new type to Siri button. Now what's really cool is that of course you can add this button to your lock screen as well. So if you just want to quickly start typing to Siri, now you can do that via this toggle directly from your lock screen. So that's basically it for this video guys. This is iOS 18.2, the RC version. And of course we're now just days away from the release of the final public release of iOS 18. And these are 10 of the coolest new features that you're getting with iOS 18.2 on your device. Of course, there are a lot more and we're going to talk all about those features in the upcoming videos. So make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button and I will see you guys on the next one.